Hello, everyone, and hello, Tim. Welcome back to the channel. We have some exciting news we want to get into here. But, Tim, how's your day going so far? Uh, it's great, Michael. How are you? I'm doing pretty wonderful. So kick us off. Let us know what's on the pipe. Okay. Well, we've, we have some really exciting news today, I think. And, and that's that uh, uh, our subsidiary Health Gauge has uh, re recently partnered with the University of Al Alberta's ST Innovations um, regarding some neural network data set validation work. And that, uh, that sounds like a, a mouthful, but what that really means is that we're, uh, we're doing the work right now to receive FDA and Health Canada approval as a class two medical device for uh, our Phoenix wearable. There's you know, two pieces to this. One is that um, the work that we're doing uh, in conjunction with the University of Alberta will give us that clearance, but, but two, this collaboration is designed to help refine and optimize the overall accuracy uh, of the Phoenix wearable uh, in terms of uh, <clears throat> blood pressure measurement, uh, blood oxygen, and other predictive uh, data analytics. Um, so it's really important work that we're doing. And uh, the way that works is, is uh, real simple. We uh, engage with uh, a number of research volunteers that um, wear our wearable. And as they're taking measurements of you know, blood pressure, O2 temperature, and so on, they're uh, simultaneously uh, measuring that off against the conventional data collection methods using you know, blood pressure cuff and ear thermometer uh, for temperature uh, and, uh, and so on and so forth. And, uh, and, and so it's, it's, it's really significant work for us because it, uh, uh, it helps create um, an even more you know, robust and, and intuitive product. Because remember, um, the, the whole key to AI-driven um, uh, products like ours is that the more data you're putting in the front end, the more intuitive, uh, the, 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 the smarter it gets, as opposed to uh, um, uh, uh, products such as, you know, I don't want to pick on, you know, Apple specifically, but uh, um, products, you know, like an Apple Watch um, that, uh, 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 that are not AI based. The, the problem with it is that you can feed in the same data a million times and it will spit out the same results a million times. Yeah. It doesn't uh, gain any intuition. And um, um, I, I, I like to compare it to the difference between let's say uh, a, a doctor who's you know, brand new out of medical school for one month versus somebody who's been in practice for 30 years. The doctor who's been in practice for 30 years, he's, he's aggregated all this, uh, this, this experience and knowledge over that period of time, and it makes him more intuitive and, uh, and, and he has the ability to, to more quickly and, and probably more accurately a, a assess a situation uh, than that brand new doctor has. Again, that's the difference between something uh, that's artificial intelligence driven like our product mm -hmm. and something that's not like an Apple Watch, for example. Okay. Um, and, and so again, this work that we're doing with, uh, with the uh, uh, ST Innovations at University of Alberta is, uh, is really, really important work. And we will be reporting on the results of that uh, over the, uh, the upcoming weeks and months. Wonderful. So um, I guess it'd be fair to say that, that you guys getting this data is very valuable as well, and that the, the AI is going to learn from this experience and just get tighter and tighter from here. Exactly. Exactly right. That's uh, that's uh, the key to it, along with giving us the uh, the clearance as a class two medical device uh, in the eyes of of both the FDA and uh, and Health Canada. Talk about that a little more. What is getting that class two device clearance open for you guys? Mm -hmm. Um, basically, the 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 world in in terms of of our business model. Um, remember that our primary uh, business focus is B two B as opposed to B two C. Now, as you know, we we have you know created a, a, a an e commerce website, and so you know folks are 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 welcome uh, and encouraged to come and and purchase the product, and that's great. But our primary business focus is dealing with channel partners such as you know the 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 uh, the insurers, the, the hospitals, 
Fortune 500 companies, um, uh, ACOs, HMOs, you know, those sorts of health organizations. And, and for them, it's absolutely essential or critical that, uh, that we have uh, uh, class two medical device clearance. Mm -hmm. All right, Tim. Well, thank you for coming on and thanks for sharing the updates. We'll get some more to you guys as soon as we can. Tim, you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You as well, Michael.